Variety Boxing in association with Frank Warren and Queensbury Promotions. Uh, thrilled to be joined by one of Frank's recent signings, Amin Jahanzab. How are you, sir? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, all good. Now, you ventured uh, down to Essex today yep. um, from Bradford via Manchester uh, for a little gathering with your management and everything. Yep. How are preparations going for the big debut? Beautiful. I've been training for the last five months. I've been sparring hard, everybody, especially Raza Hamza, who's a featherweight in my gym as well. Um, undefeated 15 now, I've been sparring him. So I'm re ready now, I've been ready two months ago, so I'm just dying to get, I'm sick of training now, I just want to fight. You got that promotional contract, yep. but it was kind of in the midst of lockdown and yep. everything else. How were you coping with all that? Because you had all the excitement of, yeah. yes, this is happening, but yeah. then it was, I don't know when it's happening. Perfectly fine, because in a bad time, I made it better for me. While everyone was sulking and whatever, I made it more beneficial for me. So I got a good deal. I kept in shape through lockdown, Ramadan. And then as soon as I was back in the gym, it's like I never left. Of course, so, I forgot Ramadan fell in the middle yeah, of that. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's quite useful, really, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that's done for the year full steam ahead yeah so 30 days of training obviously with less food and water of course so i was training an hour before my fast opened so every day i train i did a bit of running a bit of cycling a bit of pads so on so more good i don't think people can probably comprehend what it's like to yeah. go through a full boxing session without the availability of water at the end of it that little prize that's torture isn't it it is but what i did was i, I timed it right so just Five minutes before the fast open, I get a shower and then I can quickly eat and drink. So I knew I only to wait a few more minutes after I was done. So I'm good. Now you're seven and oh, is that yeah, right? Correct. Remind the viewers what we can expect style wise from Amin. You know what? You just have to tune in September 12th because me saying it and me showing it are two different things. So when you come September 12th, it'll be fireworks. Will it be fireworks? Are you all action or are you a all like clever counter punch or something? Everything you can, everything you can think of. I am. Got a few. Uh, Except a punch bag. <laughs> <laughs> got a few KOs in the locker. Yeah, I got two, but I'm a bigger puncher than what my record shows. So a lot of the fights, my trainer told me not to stop them due to getting the rounds in. They've only had less amateur fights, so it's better me getting experience instead of knocking people out every one two rounds and then. Some people do that and they can't go the distance. So I've been getting my education and getting my rounds in, so I'm good. So I'm fighting a live body now. I think some of these five and one, so I'm ready to show what I'm really made of. What's your story, I mean? How did boxing find you or you find boxing? Well, me and my brother Isa, well, he's sat over there, but we was kids growing up in a rough area. So me and him learned how to spar on the street, learned how to fight. My dad got us into sparring, sparring kids in the living room, uh, in the kitchen, in the back garden. So and With gloves on? With Glover, of course. Mm. And then around 13 or 14 years old, I joined the amateur boxing gym um, after watching some boxing and getting motivated from it. And then 10 years later, I'm, I'm here. It's great parenting that, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. I've heard it from other people saying, if you're going to fight yeah. at that age, have the respect to put gloves on. Yeah. That way you're not really harming anyone, are you? Yeah, of course, because what's the point hurting each other in the street when you can just spar instead and actually learn and be friends after? Because mm. don't forget, in the street fight, there's more that comes after it. So spar, you shake hands and you know, you're back to friends, so we're all good. What was it like growing up in Bradford then? Sort of a food capital of Europe? It is, yeah, it's, it's lively. You know, Bradford's, small, Bradford's a small city, but it's got everything that you need. So everybody knows everyone, so we're all good and Bradford's backing me all the way in these fights now. So if we could have fans, they'd all travel up here, so, but they're all going to tune in. Yeah, I mean, have you, develop, have you developed much of a following over the last year or two? Yeah, yeah, massive, because I started my first three fights in Bradford, at Bradford Hotel, so that built my name from there and it got bigger. So is the big one further down the line, Valley Parade? Never know, it might be Bradford City. <laughs> Hoping so, anyway, that's what that I'm working towards. City. Yeah. Brad Valley Parade is Bradford City, isn't it? So yeah, Bradford moving? City Stadium. Yeah, they might yeah. have moved now, I'm yeah, not I think sure. So, yeah, I think um, tell us a little bit about your sacrifice because you take yourself off to Manchester yeah. five days a week? Three to four days a week. Three to four days a week. I, so. I travel out there because it's like you travel to work, you drive, you get in your car, drive. Some people go on the motorway, some people don't. I just get on the motorway, 45 minutes down the road and I'm back to doing my job. Um, what, what I like about Manchester is, of course, where I train, north side and heavy hitters camp. We all train together so it's a good atmosphere where I am. I don't really know many people besides boxing people, mm. so I can go in there peacefully and do my training. 
And how did the connection with Mr. Headley come about? I've been training with Rune for over a year now, just just recently over a year. Um, we spoke on Instagram a few times, checked his workout, we checked my workout and decided, decided to speak, meet up and speak and now, we, now we're here together. And now you've got this kind of management liaison with Tunde and yeah. I suppose you're one of the one of the lions in the camp now, I guess, eh? I guess so, yeah. You've got to start shouting it out. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, let, uh, I'll let the big man do the shouting, I'll, just, I'll do the work. Um, Amin, we look forward to seeing Thank you, you very much. September 12th, Thank very you. much looking forward to it. Show everyone what you're all about behind closed doors, BT Studio. Thank Good you. luck, pal. Thank you very much.